Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about advanced web development. So we'll start with a very simple topic that is e-commerce setup. So we'll use uh, Stinger. We'll go to store manager product and I'll show you from beginning itself. So we have gone to edit website. First, I'll just give you some background to this process. We went to online store, manage product. Then add product, digital. You can select physical as well, no worries. So for example, I have saved one screenshot and I'll upload it from the okay. So my product title is uh, Snip for Sale. Snip for Sale. Okay, description. Uh, my product is Okay, let's keep this. That's fine. Exception not clear. Price is one twenty five for example. Discount price is one twenty Okay. Now we have our digital product and we'll save. Now we have one product for sale. Now we'll go to store. Now it should reflect just a second. Okay. It might take some time to get it live. So we have this. We can check this. Then yes, it is available, but I think you will have to wait for some time in order to get this live. Okay. So once the changes are done, it will reflect here. And the snip is available for 125 rupees. Okay. So we have launched our uh, own product, first product. So congratulations. Now you can simply do uh, the same steps again. Okay, and you'll have all those products listed on the website. Now, if you check the categories, you can add a category, assign product, this one and this one. Okay, save. Category name is test. Okay, so it's test, save. Now I have a category named test. So this product is basically a test product. Okay. Other product I can add a category. For example, the snip relates to a snippet. Okay. So that is the category. Discount, store settings. Then simply uh, do all the needful and we are good to go. Then, okay. So for example, uh, if you look at uh, astrology website, Okay, what it can offer? It can offer digital media. Okay, digital media. Uh, but if there is a Vastu consultancy firm, it will offer physical product. Okay, so the category might differ and hence you'll have to select the appropriate category. All right. 
hope you have understood the e-commerce setup now. Okay. Like you can go to the dashboard. And set up your payment date company information and in case you have any issues you can simply guide some uh, get some guidance from here okay okay so now we have we are done with the e-commerce setup part we'll check integrations now so what all integrations are there let's check You will go to settings, integration. Okay. So for example, if you are having a Google Analytics account, you can simply connect to that. If you have Messenger, Google Tag Manager, WhatsApp, AdSense, etc. So whatever account you have, you can simply connect. So you will have the integrations here. Okay. Now if, if I want to connect to Google Analytics, I'll enter the ID and save changes. Okay. If I have a messenger live chat, I, I'll enter here. If I have tag manager, I'll enter WhatsApp. Simply uh, connect with a number and we are good to go. AdSense account, if you already have, it's good. If you don't have, we can have another session on that. Okay. This was for integration. Can add some social media icons down here. Can integrate with YouTube. Okay, so here we have an option for AI integration. Okay, you can create AI section, blog, uh, heat map, SEO, etc. etc. Okay. Then you are running a store, you can add an option add to back here, it will reflect. Okay, so this was it for integration. So, in case of hosting, uh, these were the available options with us in case you want to integrate something okay and then we'll check for code embedding okay uh embedded code in html There could be some kind of store available. Previously, I've added some quotes. Uh, I'll have to check whether I have it or not. Okay. What I'll do, I'll list those quotes in the resource section of the website.
and let's check You will have to check for codes if they are readily available or not. I have one example. I'll check. Just give me a moment. So the website which I have already created, I have it. I think on Google websites, I have it. I have to check. Okay, so yes, this is one example. This is from Trading View. Okay, I'll copy this. This is readily available to all. This is not a paid version. I'll add. Okay, so here we can see SNP for sale, which we already did. Add back. Okay, we'll check this later. Let's start for the embedded code first. Embedded code. Okay, so you can simply paste this code embed. Now we are live. You can edit. I think uh, we'll have to expand this. It's fine. We can expand this later. Okay, so there was no need to expand. This is working fine. Okay, very nice. So as you can see, we have embedded one code from Trading View to our website, and when you select this it will redirect to trading view okay so this was one example which we got okay now if you want to edit further what you can do um, okay so if you want to remove name from trading view trading view uh, can edit
okay save okay so there might be some different node i'll have to check rest we are good okay hope you now know how to integrate codes but you simply require the html code and uh, you will have to uh, enter it into the website and then we are good okay now we don't need this section so we'll delete this that's it okay go to analysis portal if we have we'll check okay we don't have this is the actual site these are also the embedded codes okay so if you will enter the, enter your details it will redirect you to a spreaded chart okay then we have astrobot should work i think it's outdated now we'll check this later okay so this was it for code integration we'll check for automation now if we have an option for automation let's see a very simple way to check for automation is to create a zapier okay so zapier is one of the automation tools which we can use uh you can simply automate uh, event booking. For example, whenever someone will uh, select your calendar, so you'll get a email notification. Okay, that is one thing. Or else you might have, uh, okay, so we have an option for appointments. You can create Zap as well. Zapier is very good for automations check in case you have an you know, automation uh, possibility or not can enable appointments okay um, okay fine block time save back to Website editing. So this was, I think, it for some advanced web development. So uh, there is not so much to discuss in advanced web development because uh, most of us will do the basics. Okay. And uh, in case of advanced web development, if you are already a developer and you know the programming language, then you can do the embedding of the codes. Okay. So that is it. And uh, most of us will use only the basic part because you can create a website, host it, connect to a domain and that's it. We are good to go live. Right. So this was it for web advanced web development. So we'll meet in uh, our another session. Thank you very much.